And welcome to Winner in the Mailman. Tonight, from my alma mater, we got Kale Peters and head coach Nick Cookshausen. Kale, uh, standout three sport player at Mitchell. He plays football, wrestles, and plays golf. And uh, just got done shooting one of your best rounds ever. Uh, yeah, it was, it was up there. Kale got done. Uh, was this was up in Valentine, correct? Yes. Did you, did you build the course yourself? Because shooting a 68 is pretty darn good up there. And uh, Kale Peters shoots a 68 for Mitchell. Qualifies, obviously qualifies for the state term or the state meet, along with his team and his coach Nick Cooks. I was a coach. You know, all this, this entire season, these kids have played well. Kale's played well. You've been a leader to these guys. Um, you know, you've what did we talked earlier six tournaments. Yeah, yeah, Kale's won six out of ten tournaments that he's played in in the individual, and I think he's gotten in the top three in the other ones that he has, a runner-up in two of them that he didn't. So, yeah, he's had a great year, and, you know, proud of the rest of the guys to step up and get our team there. So, Well, and if you know anything about Mitchell Golf, it's pretty historical there. I mean, we've, uh, I can say we've, because I, I can, because I went to school there, but we've always had a very good golf team, obviously, Nate Lashley coming out of Mitchell and a lot of other top golfers coming out of there. So it's good to hear uh, the Mitchell kids doing it again. Kale, tell me about your experience and, uh, you know, talk about a little bit about the season and talk about your district tournament. Um, season has gone very well. Uh, I'm happy with my team, uh, even though they haven't played their best potential. We've pulled through and they went through their challenges and it's been a success so far. Well, it looks like you've been playing today a little bit, maybe. Yeah. Right? You play a little bit today? Yep. You know, uh, I, I'm going to venture to say that you're the namesake of Kale Sanderson because if, I know your dad pretty well. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure you probably should have been named Tiger after this, <laughs> right? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Rhea, what have you got for the guys here tonight? I know we surprised you with Kale. Yeah, that was a shock. Uh, <laughs> so 68, the lowest you've ever shot? Um, in a tournament, yes. 68 is my best. Okay. What have you shot on your own course? 77 at Bridgeport. So. 67. Or 67, my bad. <laughs> no, anyway, keep going, Rand. I, uh, so I had asked you this after the Mitchell invite, but it's been back and forth. Every time you've been in the tournament with Scott's Bluff, it's mm -hmm. been back and forth pretty much between you and Austin of who's going to win and who's not. You ended up finally edging him yeah. at Mitchell. <laughs> but how do you feel about having that kind of competition, especially in your group? Oh, that's fun. Uh, like I said, now that Austin went to Scott's Bluff, it made things interesting. So I'm not used to having him uh, playing against him in the same group, and it was fun this year. How do you feel about going up against Austin now at this point? It's good. It was a lot better having him on our side, but uh, it's been <laughs> fun watching these two uh, battle it out. And, uh, you know, I think they played together four or five times head to head, and it was a lot of fun just watching them duel it out. And, uh, um, you know, it was just it was good. Now, Kale, you stand out in three different sports. Great running back for the Mitchell Tigers, um, great wrestler for the Mitchell Tigers in golf. As you move on after high school, I mean, have you chose what you want to do? I mean, you're, you're you know, you're possibly a dynamic dozen guy for the you know star Herald dynamic dozen. So, I mean, have you have you even thought about it? Um, since I was a little kid, my dream was to uh, become an NFL football player, but now I'm looking at it, I am think golf's are out, so maybe in the future, that'd be it. Well, you got something good to lay back on, and Nick, I mean, you, you've coached Kale in football and golf, and, you know, what's it like been to have him uh, be kind of a nucleus for your guys? I mean, he's kind of a, you know, he's, he's a leader, definitely a leader for you. How good has that been to have him around? Oh, it's been great, and you know the the best thing about it is he's only a sophomore, and yeah. you know the the leadership we've asked of him, and some of the things he stepped up and done, and he acts like a senior. You know, we we coach him like a senior, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. You know, for two having him two more years after this year. You know, and you know, like I said, I get to coach him in football and in golf, so I'm really lucky. And you know, he's a generational type kid. You get a chance to coach, and you know, it's been a lot of fun. And everything he gets, you know, I tell him he he's one of the he's the hardest working kid that, you know, one of the hardest working I've ever coached. And, you know, he, he deserves everything he gets. And, and, and he's getting, he's seeing the results with the hard work he's putting in. He knew everything he does, not only football, you know, wrestling, but golf. You know, he lives on the golf course. He plays every single day and he, he, all the time in the summer. And there's a reason he shot a 68, you know, because he puts the time in and he works at it. 
I don't even think they I think I've shot a 68 <laughs> or four holes. I, I just, I, I don't know. We didn't, you know, Mitchell's golf course wasn't built when I was in high school. Yeah. So we played our, I played high school golf for Mitchell too, but I, I wasn't that good. Um, we, we played ours at Riverview. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so when they built a golf course, I was like, come on, you know, where has this been? I'd love to have had that out there. And, and, uh, but anyway, Brianna, I know you've got probably got all kinds of things swirling around in your head for these guys right now. Uh, so, like you said, he is a sophomore. So, what do you expect out of him the next two years, whether it's on the football field or a golf course? You know, I mean, we're just we're just taking it one time at a time, uh, one one thing at a time right now. We got he's got this, you know, the state championship coming up this week, and he put himself in a good position to kind of see. He shot a score right up there with the best in Class C, and I'm excited to see him go out and compete. I mean, I think it's. You're going to be hard to find a competitor out on the field as competitive as he is. I mean, there's not many there's not many kids in the state golf tournament that are, you know, all state caliber football players, state qualifying wrestlers. I mean, that that's going to carry him over, and uh, I'm excited to watch him duel out with some of those guys. And you know, as soon as we get done with state golf, we'll we'll get in the weight room and we'll start throwing the football around and get ready for that. So no, we're just excited. It's it's going to be a fun ride. He's got great. He's got some great kids around him too in his class and the class above him, so it's a lot of fun going forward right now. And so what do you expect out of the state tournament with Kale and obviously the rest of the team? You know, as we met, um, our, our team, we're a young team. You know, we had zero experience other than Kale um, playing at district. So we, our goal was to get into the state tournament. Now we get all get, we get guys that are going to be back. Hopefully we can get back there next year. So they got to get that experience and get some of those jitters out of that first day at state tournament. And, you know, I hope those guys can go out and compete and shoot good and work on, you know, whatever they shoot the first day, work on improving that the next day. And, you know, I mean, Kale's, a, Kale's ability, he has the ability to play with anyone in the state. So, I mean, I know his personal goal is to win a state title in golf, and I think he's got himself in position, and I think he's, I mean, he can achieve that goal this year, and I think uh, he's put himself there, he's put the time in, so it's going to be exciting to watch him, and um, he medaled last year as a freshman, so I think, you know, even uh, have, giving himself that chance at being a four-time state medalist would be awesome as well. You know, the if, if you don't know the Peters family, these guys and girls are extremely competitive. I mean, your sisters were a standout volleyball, basketball, your mom was a volleyball coach, dad wrestling coach. I mean, you've, you've grown up in this house, competitive. Um, for one thing, what's your dad toughest on you about? Is it football or wrestling? Uh, I'd say wrestling. Wrestling? Because that's, <laughs> that's his sport right there. And, uh, I mean, when it comes to golf, do they just kind of stand back and let you do your thing? or? Um. They help me out with the mental game a lot, so uh, I appreciate them. They help out a lot. Well, when your sisters were still around, you were a lot smaller. I mean, yeah. did they, did, you know, did they push you? Did, were they real competitive with you? They kind oh, of yeah. push you to, to be better. Or they toughened me up for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not kidding. These these girls were good, and uh, you, know, you know, your wrestling and your football. You, you've been a, a coach's kid your whole life. Um, you've grown up around coaches, and, and, and Nick can say the same thing. I mean, Nick, you know, his, your, your dad's, well, your, your dad's a great guy. I mean, I don't know if he's ever coached you in anything. Did he ever coach you in anything? Uh, he coached me. He was actually, he actually did coach me my senior year in golf. And he's he, okay, yeah, basketball. So Kirk, Kirk's yeah. a great guy. Anyway, growing up in that house, growing up with those parents and stuff like that, how much, how much has your background in wrestling and football helped you in this, in golf? I mean, as, as far as the mental part of going at it, um, wrestling helps out a lot, especially when you're doing your weight cut. You just gotta yeah. push through it with uh, your head, and uh, with golf, you just gotta keep your head. Once you're shooting good, uh, it's good, and if you're shooting bad, you just gotta go through it mentally. Well, being a wrestler, it's hard to be intimidated as it is. I mean, yeah. you get out on the golf course, and nobody's, you know, nobody's trying to take you down out there. I mean. But you know, as far as keeping your focus, there's so many things that gotta go right that have to go right. Hitting a golf ball and playing and playing the game. I mean, so you know, does that mental that mental toughness that you got to kind of play into that? Yes, it does. Uh, plays a big role in golf. Kind of want to go back to Austin Tyler a little bit. <laughs> and you know, I know Austin pushed you last year in, in golf and probably whatever else you guys did together. Um, and and you talked a little bit about you know going through the tournaments and stuff this year without without him being a teammate there, you know. Uh, how, how have you guys been as far as off the course goes? Do you guys still communicate a lot? 
talk a lot, encourage each other? Uh, ever since he left, we kind of went our own ways for a little bit, but now that golf started up, we start talking a lot more. Now, have you been pretty encouraging to him when, oh, yeah. you know, playing play football and basketball and stuff for Scott's club? Um, when he was playing basketball, I would tell him congratulations with how the season went, and yeah, it was very fun to watch. Well, that's good. Brianna, um, Mitchell Tiger is going to, where is State this year? Columbus. We're in Columbus, yep. <coughs> Don't know the course. Have you ever played the course? Yes, I have. I played in the junior amateur there last yeah. summer, yep. How'd you, how'd you shoot? I think I shot around a 78, I want to say. I so, went down there and golf three junior amateurs, so. It's the, it's always good. No, that's that's the one thing I always worried about with golf is these kids are going down and playing these courses mm -hmm. and they might not know or might have you know and these then you know other kids that are going there probably that well, might be their home course yeah. Yeah. and that makes a, it, it does a home course make a huge advantage? Oh yeah, uh, you know all the shortcuts around it and just know how everything rolls and it plays a big role. So uh, as far as preparing for a course that you've only played a couple of times like that. I mean, how do you go about it? How do you how do you attack it? Um, when we go down early and play a practice round, I just gotta pay attention to every detail and just learn from it for the next day. So. All right. Do we know how the how the flights are starting? How the tee times and stuff are going already? Yep. Tee times were released yesterday. As soon as, uh, or actually, probably this morning. As soon as uh, the last C district got done, uh, Kale being the last group, um, teeing off on number one, I think at ten fifty and. Uh, we got we got kind of a string of guys playing the back nine around the similar time, so mm -hmm. keep us coaches busy hopping yeah, around. So, like, yeah. yeah, you guys get to roll around cards, though. Don't no, you? not in district and state <laughs> tournament. You know, in this this last meet, we wish we would have had one. So <laughs> it was uh, it was definitely a, a North track. Valentine is probably yep. pretty spread out. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah, yeah, I described the course. If they built a golf course in the Wildcat Hills, that's what we would have had. <laughs> oh, that's my. what it was. It's kind of like bridge course, like I mean. Oh, yeah. You guys talked about a, a, another guy that you're going to be going up against down here. What did you say, Grand Island Central Catholic? Mm -hmm. Shot a 65 at the at the yeah. at his district mm -hmm. tournament. So that is that a little bit of fire in your belly to kind of maybe go after him? Do we know what flight he's in? He'll be it's playing. The same with flight. Kayla. No, he'll be he's playing with it. He's the same one. Yeah. Okay, so that that that'll actually be a good thing. Yeah. yeah. I you know I, if you ask me if you. If you're gonna beat the best, you gotta be, if you're gonna be the best, you gotta beat the best, yeah. right? So why not do it head to head, right? I think all you need to do is give them, give them a couple <laughs> of these and let them know that hey, I'm coming for you. Yeah. <laughs> Brianna, do you do you have anything else for these great guys? I do, and I've been wanting to ask you for the last few minutes. All right. Uh, so going off of the course, so what does the team need to do to obviously shoot well throughout the course of state? I guess. You know, I, Kale's actually more familiar with the course than I am. Uh, it's it's old style country club, so probably similar to what we'd see at Scotts Bluff. A lot of tree line fairways, so um, it, you got to keep it in play. That's the key. You know, you got to keep the ball in play. You can't get caught up in the trees. You can't have penalty shots. You know, if you can keep it in play, um, give yourself a chance at bogey at worst. You know, par bogey. You know, for our guys, you know, we try to. Um, with mo the majority of our guys are bogey golfers, and that's kind of where we try to get with um, where we're at. And you know, if they can, they can eliminate those big numbers. That's that's what we need to do with this one. And you know, just get, basically off the tee, you got to keep the ball in play, and you should give yourself a good chance to score well. Definitely got to let these younger, inexperienced guys know, hey, you know, we, you, you need to try and you know aim for this mm -hmm. this number. Yep. You know, this is what we're going to need out of yep. you. And you know, how, how vocal are you with these guys? Um, I communicate a lot. When yeah. we go out and practice, I uh, help them out with what club they need to hit and distances and mm -hmm. uh, what they need to fix. So names. So. Let's, let's hear the names. I mean, these guys all qualify too as a yep. team. So let's let's hear who you got going with you. So we got you know I'll just go in order kind of how we took the scores on um, Kale obviously, and then we got Ethan Tyne, um, right. Austin's younger brother. He shot ninety one at districts. Uh, Easton Anderson's been kind of a surprise for us this year. His first year out for golf. He's a junior. He was a runner and. Um, he decided to try out golf, and we're pretty happy about it. You know, he had a good season overall for not picking up golf very long. Uh, and to shoot 100 for him on that course was a good score for him. And uh, Tyler Jackson um, was also, he was our fourth score. And then we had uh, Kalen Jackson as well. So that will be our five um, varsity golfers playing at Columbus on, on Tuesday next week and Wednesday. Are you going to see another Kale Peters on any of those guys? Um, you know, we got... I know we still got two more years. <laughs> I'm not running you out the door, I promise. Yeah. 
I think Ethan has a lot of potential. Unfortunately, their family, his dad took a position and Sterling Sterling's not gonna be he's that. not gonna be around, so we're not gonna see it, but I could see him, you know, they've they fed off well with each other this year and they compete well. I mean he's played some really good rounds with us in practice, shooting in the you know, right around par or maybe one or two over. So I could see him really doing good. And we got guys that are juniors, but if they get out, I mean the key with golf, you can have one good summer and put a lot of time in. You could drop five, ten shots off, you know, where, where some of those guys are. So I could definitely see those guys making some big improvements and um, being even stronger next year as a team. Uh, so my final one, since this is the last golf meet of the year, how do you feel like your team has done overall this season? You know, as I mentioned, I've been really pleased overall with um, where we've been. Um, we had our athletic banquet yesterday. I think we won four, four invites with the Western Trails Conference Championship. Uh, we had a runner-up finish. Um, so I've been really happy. You know, we, we've, Kale was our only returning um, varsity golfer last year. We t lost four, and we were a fourth-place team at state last year. So we had a pretty good squad last year. And to come in this year, I, I wasn't sure how things would go. And um, these guys have kind of been a, a pleasant surprise, and they've had a great season. And, um, you know, we're happy we get to keep playing, and hopefully we can uh, shoot some of our better scores this week at state. Now leadership is key, and <clears throat> I think you got a good one here. Yeah, we do. Yep, and yep, absolutely. <coughs> a great leader. So, anything else from you, Brianna? Nope, anything from you? No, Winner of the Mailman is going to wrap up tonight, and we appreciate you being here. We appreciate yep. Coach Thank Nick Cookshausen, Kel Peters being with you, and uh, a, few, a few more words from Brianna Winner. Oh, well, thank you so much for joining us. I know it was the last minute, and uh, Kale surprised me. Uh, by showing up. Yeah, thanks. I wish you had given me heads up, too. Yeah, well, that's, I thought about texting you on the way <laughs> Yeah, I was just like, is that Kale outside? <laughs> I was definitely surprised. Uh, but thank you so much for uh, joining us tonight. And for more sports coverage, including the state tournaments next week, you can go to StarHerald.com or pick up a print edition anywhere you can find it. And we will see you all next time.